The tech world is buzzing with anticipation for the release of Claude 3, the latest version of Anthropic's AI language model. Anthropic, an American AI startup, announced its next generation AI model, Claude 3, on March 4, 2024. This is the first model from the company to support combinations of text and images, multi-model. It is said to have outperformed OpenAI's GPT-4 and Google's Gemini 1.0 Ultra in multiple benchmarks. In this step-by-step -step guide, we will cover what is new in Claude 3, how to use Claude 3, why Claude 3 is so much better than GPT-4 and Gemini, finally how to use Claude 3 with Langchain and Crew I. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Anthropic recently released a surprise series of Claude 3 models. This update includes three versions of different sizes and functions. Claude 3, Opus Anthropic's most advanced model with near-human understanding and fluency used for extremely complex tasks and open-ended prompt words. Claude 3 Sonnet. It is a model that strikes a balance between intelligence and speed. It is more affordable and has higher CP performance than similar products. It is designed for the high durability required for large-scale use of AI. Claude 3 Haiku. The smallest, lightweight, and fastest model with near instant response capabilities can quickly answer simple questions and is used for instant interaction with users. The difference between these models is that the accuracy is higher in the order of Opus and Sonnet than Haiku, but the cost is also higher in the same order. To obtain an Anthropic Claude API key, you must first create an Anthropic account. Once you have created an account, you can click on the Get API Key button to generate a new API key. Click Start Prompting with Claude and you will be taken to the UI below. You can select Claude's model from the Model pull-down menu in the upper left. Opus is available when you pay for Claude Pro, $20 per month. In the field of artificial intelligence, performance benchmarks are important for evaluating the capabilities of models. The Claude 3 family has set new standards by demonstrating superior abilities in a variety of cognitive domains. Comparing these models to GPT-4 tells an interesting story, Claude 3 Opus. The best performing of the trio, Opus has an impressive 86.8% accuracy, especially for undergraduate level knowledge, MMLU, which is higher than GPT-4's 86.4%, and this suggests a new type of AI that will become a leader in capabilities. Claude 3 Sonnet. Not far behind, Sonnet shows robustness in graduate level reasoning, scoring 40.4%, slightly ahead of GPT-4's 35.7%. This shows Sonnet's mastery of higher order cognitive tasks. Claude 3 Haiku. The most cost effective model. Haiku has an accuracy of 75.2% on the same benchmark at the undergraduate level, catching up with GPT-4 and outperforming GPT-3.5. These numbers reflect more than just academic interest. They demonstrate the potential of AI at scale and speed to tackle complex problems to help solve problems. Before we dive into our application, we will create an ideal environment for the code to work. For this, we need to install the necessary Python libraries needed. Firstly, we will start by installing the libraries that support the model. For this, we will do a pip install of the below libraries. We initiate the code by importing classes from Crew AI, enable AI agents to assume roles, share goals, and operate in a cohesive unit Langchain Anthropic, providing free-to-use API endpoints to the large language models. Anthropic is even compatible with Langchain. To begin using Anthropic in Langchain, create a new chat Anthropic object named LLM, set the temperature parameter to zero, indicating that the responses should be more predictable, and paste your API sets the model knock name parameter to Claude 3 Opus 2024029, specifying the language model to use. This initializes the DuckDuckGo search tool provided by Langchain. This tool will help us to build our essay agent. The DuckDuckGo tool allows you to search the web using DuckDuckGo and retrieve the results. 
these agents are designed for a scenario where one is responsible for researching cutting-edge developments in AI and data science, researcher, while the other crafts compelling short-form content based on the research, writer. The researcher cannot delegate tasks, while the writer can delegate tasks to others. Both agents seem to utilize a language model, LLM, and the writer may have access to additional tools or resources. Task 1 assigns the responsibility of conducting a comprehensive analysis of AI advancements in 2024 to the researcher agent, while Task 2 assigns the responsibility of summarizing the findings into a short-form summary to the writer agent. These tasks outline a workflow where the researcher analyzes the latest trends and technologies, and the writer distills this information into a more accessible format for wider consumption, sets up a crew to manage a workflow, involving a researcher analyzing AI advancements and a writer summarizing the findings for a newsletter. The crew execution is initiated and upon completion, a message is printed along with the result of the execution. This structure allows for systematic coordination and collaboration between the agents to accomplish the tasks assigned to them. Cloud3 has made great progress in terms of intelligence level, multimodal capabilities, and speed. With the further optimization and application of the new series of models, we may see a more diversified large model ecosystem. I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Like this, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you until next time. Stay curious and keep learning.